next here is the development testing is there one of the important thing is that how the development testing works it is going to contain the three uh, steps unit testing compound testing and system testing so all these things are comes under the development testing it means to say the developer is going to test these things unit testing individual units are going to be there programs uh, steps then those things are going to be tested we can say in that objects will be there process will be there functionalities will be there those things are getting tested in the unit testing compound testing is a combination of some functions we will going to call it as a component that component is being tested for the integrity of the system whenever that integration will be there means say that more than one components are going to be crammed it is integrated that time the errors may occur so that time we will be going to test that particular components called as compound testing next is system testing where the whole system there are so many uh, modules will be there all the modules are going to be integrated to one and then that system is going to be tested that time also integration test is going to be tested so as a whole that will be going test it is called as system testing the objectives of uh, the system testing is going to be uh, integer functionalities are going to be tested within the object then object classes will be there okay the attributes of those things whether it is all the functions are going to be working in that particular class or not those things are going to be tested then uh, composite uh, components okay whenever that uh, interfaces are going to be there then um, uh, we have um, <coughs> inheritances will be there so that time the functionality of those things whether it works properly or not those things individually that it is going to be tested here defect testing is going to be preferred means because we are going in depth of the system because there uh, the defect system is going to be testing is going to be done means bugs has to be found out in that then in the class testing we have uh, associated with the uh, objects that it should be operations are going to be performed and those things are going to be checked then object integrations are going to be made the objects attributes are going to be checked with that then uh, objects of all the possible uh, states okay uh, these things are been exercised and it, these things are going to be checked so as i said in the previous one only the inheritance makes it a very uh, mess concepted basically because if you depth of the inheritance is going to be there uh, verification of that or testing is going to be very difficult here is one example that it says about the weather station object interfaces okay. so for the only the the class is uh, uh, weather station and uh, there are only identifier is there some identifiers then there are so many functionalities are going to be there report weather then report status power saver all these functionalities are there all these functionalities has to be tested for the identifier in that particular class so here in this weather station testing uh, you should test for uh, what has been specified here one example it is being given here you should start and stop the particular weather station so shutdown running shutdown once shutdown is said then it should it should be in the running state then only it can shut down you want to say configure the system first of all it should be in the running state okay configuration is being done and it is running state testing is being done for that transformation is going to be done it is is transforming the data and running it is that time a configuration has to be done then third stage is running collecting the data running again summarizing it transmitting the data and running means in the continuous process data is collected and it is summarizing transmitting again it is running again it is going to do the repeated task there is a loop is going to be there in that okay so whether these things are executing properly or not those things are going to be tested 
automated testing. There are some testing tools are going to be available. Then you can use that uh, tools for automated testing. For example, this J Edit uh, tool is going to be there to test the Java programs. Specific test cases you'll be going to write. That's what I said. Some looping statements and all these things that will be there. Hundred times, thousand times that you should loop, whether it is looping properly or not. Okay. Some case study, cases will be there. Uh, case from, uh, statement. So those things are going to be get executed properly or not. GUI functionalities. Okay. One example I'll give in this. Okay. Username and password. Let us take the same thing. Username and password has been taken, and there is a submit button is there. Username I am not going to enter. Password I am not going to enter. Then the submit button is in active state. If I am going to click on that, it is wrong, right? So what it should have in that? So it must have first the input. That is username has to be entered. Then after that the password has to be entered. Then only after the last focus of that particular text box of the password, the submit button should be in the active state. Otherwise, uh, it yields an error or you can say unnecessary uh, a clicks you will be going to do it unnecessary uh, what we can say uh, programs are going to be uh, we can say that it is wrong inputs and uh, wrong uh, way of uh, execution of the program it is going to be okay so you will be going to test automatically so that it is going to pass us on the test functionalities so that you look at the proper outputs. We have in the testing service we have partition testing and guidelines based testing. What is partition testing? Here is one example it is there. So you can see because whenever that you will be going to calculate the boundaries that time partition testing is going to be done. You see here partition testing here it is example is there. Here in the equivalence testing. Okay. Partition testing is the input data is given and output results are going to be obtained. So whether that falls in the different class of the uh, objects, okay, a different class that it is going to be uh, output will be going to get. So that it has to get tested in this partition testing. Then uh, <coughs> Whether these are equivalence classes, equivalence partitioning is done okay, uh, or not, those things are going to be tested. What is my equivalence partitioning? Here is the example. Equivalence partitioning is the inputs are if it is going to be same, then same it is nothing equivalence, same inputs are going to be taken out. That is the output it is. Okay. So if I am going to say that uh, here in the example it is being given circles are the proper inputs okay uh, and uh, different paths if it is going to be there little bit if it is going to be different from the existing the similarities are not going to be there in that then those things are wrong means uh, some big circles are there some small circles are there and some equal circles are there when equal circles are there there is equivalence partitioning this so those things are going to be taken out possible inputs and possible outputs system is going to check this and get the outputs another example here equivalence partitioning you see that i am going to say one particular function that is less than four less than four is nothing but even in the minus subset it is going to be get considered in this three is the maximum less than four it is equal to four if i am going to say that is different but less than 4 when I say it should not be an equal to 4 so that in for example I am taking 0 to 3 only it should be considered not 4 as the answer for this then between 4 and 10 when I say between 4 and 10 it should be start from the 4 and end in 10 because 10 is I am going to say that 10 is also going to be included 4 is also going to be included so it is between 4 and 10 then next is more than 10 more than 10 is nothing but 11 only more than 10 10 should not be considered for this these are 